Hello everyone, welcome back! It is December 26th, 1941, and Yamamoto's Folly are continuing struggle against the Allies and the forces of Pirate Joe. Um, there could be some fireworks this turn. Um, he has an opportunity in the DEI and off Sumatra, I think, to potentially do some pretty serious damage to my forces this turn. We'll see if he takes that opportunity or not, but after I sent the last turn, I've been thinking about it ever since, and uh, there's definitely an opportunity for it. He has some carriers at Oosthaven. If he sails those north toward the west coast of Sumatra, he'll be in strike range of my offloading task forces and my uh, escorting CVEs. The thing is, those CVEs, they just don't have the air power to really stand up to a concerted carrier strike. So, uh, we'll see how that goes. Even though the carriers that he does have are on the smaller side. They do carry some big packages of swordfish. So, that might be him here. Could be him here. But he's here. In the night phase, he'll move even closer... Things could get real interesting here, and it may not go well for me. Um, myself, I don't have my planes set up for naval strike. I'm more interested in finding all these submarines um, so they can't uh, uh, sink my ships here. A detected sub is usually an ineffective sub. So, again, um, if this is him, and he sails up here and launches a naval strike, uh, things could go very badly for me. Now, last turn, I did move a squadron of zeros here to Kuching. Those can help to fried some cap, but we're going to see what happens here. SI-87 does good work putting a torpedo and an AVP at Darwin. It sounds like that sinks. We launch an ASW attack on the O-19. And we put a fish in the AG Orgone at Palmyra. This is the Victoria Maru 6. I'm not sure what from. It's interesting. Find that O-19 again. It's kind of lurking around there. Bombardment at uh, Monado. And bombardment at uh, uh, Sambus here. Not a lot of damage. I need to get better at using recon planes to spot for my uh, bombardment task forces. I also sent some uh, destroyers to bombard here at uh, Cotobato in case that's where he's launching these strikes from. And they don't really do much damage because he, uh, he's been launching those naval strikes and they've been pretty deadly. I shouldn't say that. They haven't been, been deadly so far. It's been those Vindicator and Devastator squadrons. Not very deadly so far, but they have the potential to be uh, unloading at Sarong. Need to take that base. Some offloading here at Sambus. And Minato. Minato would have been easier if I brought enough for force the first time instead of having to successfully bring in more uh, more troops to the base. But I think this final push will do it. We won't take it today, but tomorrow, once the troops have landed, we'll be able to take it. So 
sub right there, ASW tack north of Sambus there, north of Kuching. Uh, it'll be interesting to see where he moved his carrier force. If that was even the carrier force, but it was in the right trajectory to, to be it, so. Naval movement phase. And we're just going crazy here at Palmyra, putting a uh, torpedo and two shell hits into the AK Steel Explorer. Sweeping at Mulmain. And we take out, wow, four aircraft, no losses. Okay, so yeah, this could be bad. Um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, maybe six hexes away. Probably his uh, carrier force here, my carrier force is here. Um, it's gonna be out of strike range for me, I think. But definitely, if he goes after my ships here or any of these places, it could be could be bad. And I guess I do not have fighters here at uh, Kuching. I thought I did. Yeah, so things could get ugly here pretty quick. Doing some sweeping. Lots at uh, Batan. Lots of cap there. Zeros are getting handled. Two destroyed, only taking out one Warhawk. Oscars go after Singapore. Had a little more luck taking out two buffaloes while losing one Oscar. Hitting Batan again. Losing an Oscar but taking out two of his fighters. No effect that time. Interesting that. We see a lot of cap above Batan in the first couple sweeps, then after that kind of kind of disappears. Some light runway hits at Clark. And doing little damage via bombing. Another quick sweep sweep of Singapore. And bombing Clark. Going after this ground unit here in the clear. Uh, bombers come in. We make an intercept over Cheng Sa. Uh, they still get through. They've been getting through pretty regularly. Regularly, wow. But we do take out two of the bombers with our cap this time. Now he's going after uh, Cheng Mai, uh, where I do have some troops. Uh, cap station at uh, Santa Luque down here does intercept. Let me take out a buffalo. Vindicators try to hit my. That's either from Cebu or from Catabo. I can't tell. Uh, they try to hit my uh, uh, task force here, but I do have cap in the hex and they fend them off. Alright, so we do have some strikes here. Uh, this is just uh, some Dutch aircraft. I'm not as worried about that. Now we lose a quad, take out a B 339B. On to the PM phase. No carrier strike yet. And again, it's possible that they aren't even carriers, and I'm being paranoid, but um, they're in the right position for them to be. Uh, two planes down, it looks like. It's a good little sweep. And the Catalinas come in, but we fend them off. Another strike with Dutch aircraft that I'm not as worried about. Actually, uh, Dutch fighters, British bombers. Um, take out a demon. I'm just not super worried about the Hudsons. They're just not a great bomber. Linheims, same thing. Our normal bombing of Cebu here. Betty's well escorted coming into wake here. 
take one of those uh, wildcats out. Eddie's going after planes or ships at Soryaba. Interesting enough, no cap here at Soryaba. Again, Betty's going in after some PT boats. Not going to do much damage uh, to using bombs just out of the torpedo range of the uh, Betty's. Catalina's go after this task force again, but uh, miss because of my roofs. And Oscar's are going to handle these Blenheims no problem. A little more sweeping over Pegu. Lose zero, take out a Buffalo. Not a good trade. And, wow, I-59, two torpedoes and an AP. And we are on to the evening phase with no carrier strikes. So, like I said, it could be that carriers never came. They were all saving last turn for them to be right here. This turn, that makes sense. And that would put them in right about the right range to, to strike. But nothing flew today, so... We'll see. We'll see where those task forces actually are, and if I'm just being paranoid or not. SW attack. More unloading at Sarong. And unloading at uh, Miri. Excuse me, Sambus. And at Monado, where the freaking guns are chewing my amphibious forces up. I attack at Loyang. Outnumbered here, but I have some more hard AV with these tanks, so I'm hoping to get a uh, better result. I do reduce fortifications to two. And as far as combat squads, it looks good, right? You know, I destroy 100. I don't lose any uh, 224 disabled, 53 disabled, but I do have a lot of my vehicles disabled, a lot of that armor disabled, so I'm going to have to wait a little while before attacking again. The fact that I do lower the fortifications, though, that is uh, um, promising. And yeah, with that adjusted defense between the losses he's taken and only a fort level two we may be close to a one-to-one -one here uh once my uh, uh i recover disablements with my uh armor units i bombard at uh, ku Kiang. not doing anything there and a little shock attack down here just trying to destroy this darn unit not happening yet and I attacked deliberately up here, mostly with some cav forces. Four to one odds. And we moved them out of the hex. Yeah, good losses there. I really don't take a lot. And with this little force, I'm going to be pushing this force away and taking it over this long road to uh, Lan Chao. I bombard at Manila, just softening them up a little bit more. Uh, I'm about one turn, actually I'm there, with uh, 1900 AV, I'm ready to go ahead and attack. So that'll be next turn, my first attack at Manila, and I shock attack Cebu, and destroy uh, the little uh, rifle uh, detachment that uh, they had at Lei. They bombard me at Changsha. He has some Chinese artillery here. And an anti-tank regiment, too. Yeah, and I take the worst into that bombardment, for sure. Uh, he also does a deliberate attack at Sin Yang. Definitely outnumbers me. One to one, he lowers my... Uh, Force of three, he does take a few more casualties than I do, but he has a lot more troops to lose. I'm going to have to move reinforcements into Sin Yang uh, post haste. Another bombardment attack. And I attack here um, at Port of Princia, still trying to uh, chase this little unit down. 
and uh, it'll run out of room real quick. That's it for the churn. So not, so you guys did not get the fireworks that I uh, I promised. I apologize about that. But I'm gonna take a look, little look about the where these forces are here and what they are. Okay, so it doesn't look like carriers, but it does look like a pretty strong surface task force here. The carriers are still down here. They didn't make the trip up. But this could get ugly for me, obviously, with uh, this. I do have some decent surface task forces here. And more that I can kind of break off. I do have some battleships. At least a battleship here. With okay ammo, not great. But I should end one here. With poor ammo. So yeah, things could get really interesting next turn. If he's going to commit to running this uh, group right up here, um, this could cause a lot of chaos with my uh, invasion forces. I'll probably have my amphibious forces stop loading, pull out, and um, back everything off and try to intercept with some surface forces. We'll see. But yeah, like I said, it could get a little bit messy uh, right here because that looks like, what, three battleships in a battle cruiser? So we might have parts of Force Z, um, I imagine, as well as some additional British and Dutch cruisers in that force. Let's house almost home. Taking a quick look here. Yeah, his carrier task force still right there. And another piece of a carrier task force right here, um, which could be that uh, escort force, or that could be the escort force, I'm not sure. I think one of them is the uh, the Nike, the uh, CVL that I put the, uh, sorry, put the torpedo into earlier. Let's take a quick look at losses. Aircraft losses. Today, 77, 12 of those zeros, but 26 losses for me, 46 for him. Um, that's the kind of ratio that we do like to see. So good job there. And let's, let's look at ship losses. Victoria Maru near Miri. Miri is here. How are we losing ships near Miri to a deck to uh, what looks to be a uh, a coastal defense gun? That doesn't make any sense to me. If it was over here, make perfect sense. If it was near Minato, yeah, make perfect sense. I'm not sure why the Victoria Maru went down around here. In any case, let's take a quick look back at those ship losses again. So if we took out that AP, that was definitely a nice kill. If we took out that AG, definitely a nice kill as well. And we know we took out that little AVP near Darwin. So in all, decent turn. Uh, could have been worse. It could have been worse definitely if uh, this group made it all the way to my invasion task forces. But now that I know it's coming, uh, I'm going to be able to uh, do something about it, I think. So I think we'll be all right. Any case, uh, thank you for watching the turn. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you in the Discord. Take care, everyone.